I believe. Yes, you are recognized for five minutes, sir. <clears throat> Thank you. Chairman Fleming, Ranking Member Sablon, and members of the subcommittee. Thank you for the opportunity to testify before you today concerning NOAA's fishery science. I'm Captain David Nelson, and I've been fishing the South Atlantic region in Florida my entire life. I represent all American fishermen, recreational and commercial, as well as the American seafood consumer. Many of the people I represent were here for the rally in February 2010, uh, the Fisherman's Rally on Capitol Hill. Many coastal communities along the South Atlantic from North Carolina to Florida are suffering an economic crisis because of the chronic and well-documented lack of basic data and flawed science that has been used to determine the health of their fish stocks, as we've been talking about today. A prime example of these problems is the current closure on red snapper fishing in the South Atlantic from North Carolina to Florida. Lack of data on red snapper in particular has led scientists to make non-science-based assumptions about the stock. The evidence is clear in the first stock assessment known as CR15 completed in 2008. In this assessment, scientists had to create catches or landings of fish that did not happen so that the computer model results would fit the minimal data that was available. I want to repeat that because it's worth repeating. In this assessment, NOAA scientists created catches or landings that did not happen. In a quote directly from CDAR 15 concerning outdated U.S. Fish and Wildlife Surveys, this is a quote from National Marine Fisheries Scientists in the South Atlantic. Data from these reports, talking about the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Surveys, data from these reports were not supposed to be included because the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service deemed these data untrustworthy, but they were used anyways. Since they were used anyways, in CDAR, in, 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 despite their unreliability, in CDAR 15, over 30 million pounds of red snapper landings were created from thin air using these outdated fish and wildlife surveys. They were used regardless of their unreliability, as I said before. In other words, red snapper were deliberately killed off in the computer, not by fishermen. Just two years later, the 30 million pounds of fabricated landings were corrected in a new assessment known as CDAR 24. After an independent review by Dr. Frank Hester found serious flaws in CDAR 15. However, these fabricated landings, the 30 million pounds that was created out of thin air, forced the closure of the red snapper fishery in January 2010. This cost many people their jobs, caused businesses to suffer severe economic losses, and millions in lost tax revenue for the states and federal government. This vital fishery is still closed today. Due to man the many flaws that were found in CDAR 15, the National Marine Fisheries agreed to do another assessment on red snapper called CDAR 24, as I've already mentioned. This was completed in 2010 with the full involvement of fishermen and other stakeholders. The 30 million pounds of fabricated landings were corrected, and it looked like an accurate assessment would be, would be produced with CDAR 24. Unfortunately, this did not happen because a computer model chosen, was chosen that destroyed the stock before 1975, before there was any data on red snapper, before any data on red snapper even existed. In CDAR 24, a computer model was deliberately chosen that destroyed the stock with artificially created poor recruitment, which has to do with spawning potential and the amount, number of offspring that the stock produces, based on zero science. This simply means that this stock of fish, one of the most highly reproductive species known to science, did not produce enough offspring to maintain its own existence. In other words, the red snapper, according to the new assessment, was conducted on a computer-generated path to extinction without any science or data to support this ridiculous notion. This goes against all available science on red snapper and disregards the best science available on the spawner-offspring relationship known as the spawner recruit curve. What happens is you have a certain number of spawning fish in the, in the population, as many of you have heard, and then those without data produce a certain number of offspring. If you have no data, you go by the spawner recruit curve, which they did not. This is a complete violation of Magnuson-Stevens NS2, uh, best scientific information available, as Mr. Schwab mentioned earlier, must be followed. Well, that wasn't followed in CDAR 24. It was violated. With only two years between CDAR 15 and CDAR 24, there were no data changes regarding this recruitment or offspring from, from spawning. However, 
between the two assessments, the number of age one red snapper being produced from one assessment to the other was reduced by six, almost six million fish in a 20 year period. Fabricate, complete fabrication with no data because it's supposed to follow this fauna recruit curve. Now instead of fabricated landings destroying the stock, the CDR was, uh, in, that happened in CDR 15, CDR 24, it was, it was fabricated poor recruitment or uh, lack of reproduction by the stock with no data. Here's an explanation of the poor recruitment before 1976. These are National Marine Fishery scientists, quote from a National Marine Fishery scientist involved in this assessment. Without any data prior to 1976, there is little information to estimate those historic recruitment deviations with accuracy. Thus, the estimate of historic recruitment should not be considered reliable. That's a National Marine Fishery scientist about a closure that's going to shut down, uh, make people lose jobs and shut down businesses. But it's said, he says that this should not be considered reliable information that we're giving you here. Red snapper fishing has been closed for a year and seven months, and during this time there has been a severe economic hardship in the region that has been affected. This is due to a stock assessment that their own scientists say should not be considered reliable. Now, because of the serious, seriously flawed nature of the red snapper science, recreational and commercial fishing industries are now call, calling for oversight hearings and have been lobbying for oversight hearings on the red snapper science. An investigation of fabricated landings and computer-generated extinction of a healthy fishery is necessary. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you.